developing tonight, a Brinks truck driver opening fire on a robber at a Wells Fargo. The FBI now releasing video of that incident. That robber still on the run. Local 10's Ian Margle is live in North Miami Beach to show us. Ian. This happened right around 4 o'clock, and you have to imagine this is a very busy shopping plaza. There's a Publix, there's plenty of restaurants in here as well. The Brinks truck driver was going right up to this ATM right here behind me at this Wells Fargo. And FBI agents say he fired more than once and may have even shot that robber. An armored car robbery caught on video, and the FBI says the suspect got away with thousands of dollars. It all happened right around four outside of this Wells Fargo in North Miami Beach. A Brinks truck pulled up and one of the employees got out. While he was servicing the ATM, an individual approached him. The individual had something in his hands and demanded money from him. It's unclear what it was the man had in his hand, but it didn't take long for things to escalate. There was a confrontation. The individual did take a cartridge containing money. That's when the Brinks employee ended up firing at least two shots at the masked man. Then the suspect jumps back into this blue Honda Civic with the license plate PZZ K67 and drives off with thousands of dollars. Law enforcement sped to the bank soon after and set up a crime scene, spending hours searching for evidence. They found that one of the shots missed and hit this window of a dentist's office nearby, but they think another shot may have been on target. We believe he could have been hit, so what we are asking is the public help to uh, determine if they know somebody that fits the description, fits the car, has a bullet wound to him, uh, we'd like to hear from you. So if you know who that man is, if you recognize the car or know anything about this one, call the FBI Miami office or you can call Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS or Star Star Tips. Live in North Miami Beach tonight, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News. Okay, thanks a lot, Ian.